In this session, we'll look at a way to move pavement striping from Civil 3D to InfraWorks. As you can see, I'm starting out in InfraWorks where I have just finished importing a Civil 3D corridor design. If you're wondering how this design was brought in, I have recorded the workflow, and I'll leave a link to that recording in the description for this one. Now, after importing this corridor design, I'm ready to add some road striping. Currently, the striping geometry exists in Civil 3D. Let's jump over and take a look. Here in Civil 3D, we can see the drawing that contains the corridor model. This drawing also includes the pavement striping. I'm going to simplify things a little bit on screen. Let's zoom in, and I'm going to move up to the Layers panel, and I'll click the Layer Freeze button. And then I will click to freeze the layer containing my corridor and this top surface. I'll press Escape when finished. Now, if I hover, you can see that I have created my striping geometry on three unique layers. One's called White Stripes. Another is called Yellow Stripes. And then I have one more called White Polygons. Let's further isolate these layers on screen. I'm going to come back up to the Layers panel, and I'll click Layer Isolate. And then I will select an entity on each of these three layers and I'll press Enter. I will then zoom out so we can see all the geometry. To move these entities into InfraWorks, I am going to export each layer as a shape file. We'll start with the closed shapes. I will isolate that layer to make those entities easier to select. And then to do the export, I'm going to use a command called Map Export. I'll press Enter. I'm going to be saving these shape files into a directory called Shapes. We'll call this one White Polygons. I'll click OK. I'm going to be exporting the entities as polygons. I will then click the Select Objects button, and I will select these objects and press Enter. If these entities had associated data, I could export that as well using this Data tab. In this case, that's not an issue. Let's jump to Options. Since these do represent closed shapes, I am going to select this toggle, Treat Closed Polylines as Polygons. When finished, I'll come down and click OK. And if we look at the command line, you can see that the export was successful. Let's do another layer. I'm going to come back and click Layer Unisolate to put things back the way they were. Let's do the white stripes this time. I'll choose Isolate, and I'll select that layer and press Enter. Let's zoom out. I will then launch Map Export. I'm going to do that by right-clicking, and I'll go to the Recent Input menu and choose Map Export. I'll call the shape file White Stripes, and I'll click OK. I'm going to be exporting these entities as lines. I'll click Select Objects, and I will select the entities and press Enter. Since these are linear items, no additional settings are necessary. I can just come over and click OK. Let's unisolate, and we'll do one more. I'll click Isolate, and I'll select the yellow stripes layer. We'll do a map export. I'll call this shape file yellow stripes. We'll export these entities as lines. Select objects. I will select these objects and press Enter and click OK. Now that we've successfully exported these items to shape, we will import them into InfraWorks. Here in InfraWorks, I can add those shape files using drag and drop. I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer, and I will select that Shapes folder. We'll add the white polygons shape file first. I'll do that by simply dragging and dropping the file into the interface. I will then tell InfraWorks what this data represents. I'm going to choose Coverage Areas, and then for the style, I'm going to click this pencil. Since we're working with paint striping, I'm going to select the Color tab, and then I'll select the color white. I'll click OK, and close and refresh. We can now see that shape file represented here in the Data Sources panel, as well as on screen. Let's do another. I'm going to jump back to Windows Explorer. This time, we'll insert the white stripes. I'll drag and drop that into the interface. Now, even though these are linear items, I am still going to insert them as coverage areas. Let's come down and click the pencil. I'll go to Color and I'll choose White, and click OK. We'll do one more thing. Since these are linear items, we'll go to the Table tab. This gives me access to additional settings. I will then drag down and look for the Buffer setting. The buffer allows us to apply an offset to the left and right of these objects, thus creating a closed shape. If I wanted these stripes to be 6 inches wide, that would be a half a foot, or 0.5. I would need a buffer distance of 0.25, half the distance in either direction. I'll press Enter. And then I'll come down and choose Close and Refresh. Finally, we'll add the yellow stripes. Coming back to Windows Explorer, I'll select the yellow stripes shape file and then drag and drop it into the interface. These will also be added as coverage areas. I'll click the pencil, 
We'll go to the color tab. Now, depending on what you're bringing in, you could select virtually any color from this dialog box. For this example, I'm just going to select a nice bright orange from the palette of basic colors. I'll click OK. We'll go to the table tab. I'll drag down and we will add a buffer. These will also be six inches, so I'll set this to 0.25 and press enter. I will then choose close and refresh, and we can review the proposed roadway striping in the model. Now that we're finished importing data, let's close the data sources panel and we can zoom in and take a closer look. So the next time you need to import pavement striping from Civil 3D to InfraWorks, consider using coverage areas. Even though coverage areas are typically associated with closed shapes, by simply adding a buffer, they can also be a great way to display linear geometry. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.